He just jumped. <laughs> you know, dude, he's parachuting. He ejected onto the flight deck. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. Spread my wings and fly away. I believe I can soar. I see me running through that open door. <laughs> yo, 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 what is going on, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Dude, this is an awesome video. I recently reacted to Battlefield 3 aircraft carrier mission and that video is blowing up right now, dude. It just randomly is getting thousands and thousands of views and I'm like, dude, I need to react to something similar. I found Grand Theft Auto 5 aircraft carrier mod. So this is going to be hilarious, dude. This is going to be another awesome reaction video. Make sure you guys subscribe. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. Also, you need to follow my Twitter right now at JT Suits. Tomorrow is the voting for best military YouTuber. We started at 68 military YouTubers. It's down to the final two. Dude, I'm in the finals. This is crazy. I wouldn't be here without you guys. You guys are the best subscribers, man, out there on YouTube for military content. It's incredible. We're taking the Navy all the way. Now, before we start this reaction video, I did get a lot of comments saying, you're, you're a Navy veteran? What's your qualifications? Like, we're getting a lot of new subscribers that people don't think that I'm a Navy veteran. So I served five years in the Navy, 2010 to 2015. I worked on the flight deck. I launched and recovered anti-submarine helicopters. I also launched and recovered a bunch of NATO aircraft, Japanese aircraft, Chinese, Australian. I landed a Marine Osprey. I served on two aircraft carriers, CBN-72 and CBN-73, the Lincoln and the George Washington. I also served on a cruiser, the USS Cape St. George. So those are my qualifications. Let's get into this reaction video. Right, man. We are starting out in the hangar bay. Is it? Wait, wait, no. What is it? This is a Harrier? They're flying the aircraft out of the hangar bay. No, that doesn't <laughs> Bro, that is impossible. I mean, that maybe a very skilled pilot could do that. But there is no way in hell that is ever going to be allowed, dude, in the Navy. What the hell was that, dude? That was freaking hilarious. Look, there's aircraft elevators. In the hangar bay, the way you get aircraft up to the flight deck is on aircraft elevators. Those are operated by ABHs, by blue shirts and yellow shirts. So now we got the, this is a Harrier, obviously. Um... Now it looks like th this is not actually, this is an aircraft carrier, but it's not a CVN. Um, this is an LHA or an LHD. You can tell because there's no catapults. It doesn't look like there's any catapults. I think, I believe they're, they're gonna fly back around here. They're gonna land on the deck and we'll see, but um, they don't have any catapults and the flight deck is smaller. So this looks like an, he just jumped. <laughs> you know, dude, he's parachuting. He ejected onto the flight deck. <laughs> he just ate shit, dude. He's in the end up. He's in the blue camos, the type ones. Dude, this is awesome. If you guys don't know, now the Navy just transitioned the green camo type threes. But, but yeah, dude, we have no one that's parachuting onto the flight deck. Yeah, this is definitely an LHA or an LHD. This is a smaller deck. There's gonna be Marines that you'll find on these ships. There'll be Marines as well. Um, Harriers are Marine aircraft. There also is gonna be Navy personnel though. There should be some Navy helicopters, Marine helicopters, a little mix of both. Um, so it looks like he's running around. We call this the island. The big thing that sticks out you know, the, those big buildings that you see sticking out of the flat. He's got a gun. <laughs> what the heck, dude? What is this guy? He's wearing blue camos. No cranial. Running around the flight deck wherever he goes, dude. He got a sniper. Pulled out of his booty hole. But this is called the island. There is a place on the island. If you're not a flight deck worker, you're allowed to, like, look what those people are doing and observe flight deck operations. It's called Vulture's Row. 
So if you want to see what goes down, if you're, you know, a Navy job on the ship that's not qualified to be on the flight deck, you can go on Vulture's Row and take pictures. You have to have hearing protection on though. But yeah, I didn't serve on an LHA or LHD. He's in the bridge. This is the bridge where the skipper sits, where everything goes down, where primary flight control works out of. I did get to go into the bridge one time and sit in the skipper's chair. I got sailor of the week. And uh, if you get sailor of the week on the carrier, you get to take a picture with the skipper. You also get head of the line galley meal passes. But this is pretty funny, dude. Grand Theft Auto mods is insane. So yeah, I didn't really work in any of these places. I mostly operated on the flight deck itself. And to get around, you could technically just walk up and walk into these places. You don't really need a clearance, but people are gonna know you don't belong. They're gonna be like, dude, what the what the hell is this guy doing? Like you're not just you're not just gonna be able to like nonchalantly hang out in places up on uh, in the island or on the bridge. There's not there's like I said, there's not like security checkpoints per se, but people are gonna know if you don't belong. And he is, <laughs> oh shit, dude, he committed. All right, I shouldn't be laughing because people actually jump off of the ship. It's not a laughing matter. People have taken their lives and jumped off of the carrier. Um, there was an instance where a sailor wrapped himself in a bunch of aircraft chains and was running and trying to sprint and jump off the ship. It's a 90 foot drop from the flight deck and someone tackled it. But uh, enough about that. Yeah, see, we don't have people like that, dude. Um, that just looks like a regular civilian plane handler. You could, okay, he's walking right up to the jet. Like, if there's no flight operations going on, you can technically walk around the flight deck. You don't need hearing protection. So I, he's within regs for now. He's doing a little uh, crazy things. He's on the starboard side of the ship. And now he is uh, working out with a bunch of people. Dude, they're in their end dubs, look. End dubs, no shirt on. Does he have a shirt on? All right, so they're de -blast. You can technically take off your top cover of your end dubs, but you have to wear your undershirt. You can't just take all your shirts off like that. And people don't work out. There's no workout clubs on the flight deck. But you can run around the flight deck. Sometimes they authorize you can run like a 5K. They let people get up in their running clothes and running shoes and run laps around the flight deck. So some of this is pretty close. And for Grand Theft Auto, I'm impressed. The mods they do on the PC, the PC mods, it's pretty hilarious. Still working out, dude, getting it, getting it in the end of. So there's like, I'm guessing that's just boxes of ordnance and missiles lying around. There are a lot of ordnance and missiles lying around the deck, but those are always controlled by the AOs. The aviation ordnance men, the red shirts, always have control of the ordnance, usually in the bomb farm or in front of the island, a lot of bombs sit. I don't know why he keeps going down here. That's probably where the Sea Wiz, he's near the Sea Wiz, where he just went down. It, that Sea Wiz is the gun that shoots down missiles. It sounds like zzz. It sounds insane. So the catwalks, those catwalks are not really correct. Catwalks on ships, you can, they're tight gratings. You can see down to the water. Those were covered. Now it's, uh, dude, I don't know where he is. What is going on in there? Some welding. He's going in the bowels of the ship. How do people make these mods? And okay, back in the hangar bay. Back in the hangar deck, hangar bay. There's hangar bay one, two, and three. It's split up into hangar bay one, two, and three. I believe it's the same for LHA and LHDs. It should be. Um, those look like, all right, so funny story. There are a lot of spec ops people the spec ops guys I dealt with were EODs, and all literally all they did was work out all day. They worked out all day in their special, you know, they had their different uniforms, and uh, they would work out in the hangar bay for like three, four hours. And then they would shoot their guns, do drills. It's pretty salty.
but then they have to go through so much training. All right, see, that guy is standing up. Literally, there's a rule in the Navy. If you're standing up on something, even if it's two steps, you have to wear a cranial. However, even if you're literally on something that's one step, you have to wear a cranial, and we don't have tanks, bro. Actually, no. In LHA or LHDs, there might, like I said, there might be actually tanks that they have in the ships. If they're carrying a bunch of Marines, I know they have Marine equipment. Aircraft carrier though, myself, we did, and he's driving, okay. He's driving the tank in the carrier, in the hangar bay, dude. Oh my God, he's shooting the fucking tank. Why'd it go on there, fuck? Yeah, I think he's got five stars. Dude, the police after him? The Grand Theft Auto police? Dude, is destroyed. It's an inside job. What the hell is he doing? Dude, I want to play this now. This is funny. So, there might be tanks in LHAs or LHDs, actually. They have marine equipment. I know that. No tanks in the carriers, though. We only had aircraft. He's getting back in the, he's back in the Harrier, and I'm assuming he's going to fly back out. So, you know, that would be an impressive maneuver. It could, it'd be possible you'd have to be a very skilled pilot. It could happen. Chuck Yeager, I believe Yeager, that's the guy that broke the sound barrier, don't quote me. Okay, so he's flying back out. It's impressive, dude. Harriers, uh, you know, they take off their vertical, take off and landing. It's good graphics. Very nice. I guess, you know, what else can I talk about? It's getting dark. If you guys want to do something very dangerous, flight deck operations, okay, it's over now. But something very, very dangerous is flight deck operations at night. It is probably one of the scariest things I did when I was a trainee, like when you're learning. Because not only don't, not only are you learning how to just be on the flight deck and not die, not get run over, not get blown off, not get sucked up into a jet intake, not get cut up into pieces by a propeller from a Hawkeye or a Greyhound, or your own helicopter blades. You have to worry about all that and it's pitch black, dark. You're only operating by wands, you know? You have blue or, uh, blue or red lights. So I'll, I'll never forget, true story, the first time I ever went up on the flight deck at night, I poked up my head from the catwalk. This was by elevators one and two on the starboard side of the ship. You can get up to the flight deck from there. There's a lot of work centers that hug the edge of the flight deck. So you have the flight deck, then you have all the aviation work centers below. So you pop, you pop up from the catwalk and you go up a little ladder well, boom. There's literally F-18 exhausts right above your head. F-18 exhaust, F-18 exhaust, F-18 exhaust. And th they start up, dude, on full power. So if you're not paying attention, you're gonna pop right up into a full power F-18. And you're done. Dude, you're gonna like, I you could burn your face off or freaking get blown off the deck. But hey, all right guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you stayed to the very end, make sure you leave a like and comment and let me know what other videos like this you wanna see. Like I said, I'm not a huge gamer, but if you know any other clips, any other video games where they have flight deck operations or Navy ships, let me know, leave it in the comments below. Uh, grammar. Make sure you're following me at JT Suits on Twitter, the voting for best military YouTuber. We're in the final two, like I said, on the whole internet, we're the this is an amazing honor, and yeah, it's just, I'm at a loss for words, dude, to be in the finals. I love the poppies, appreciate the poppies. My boy, Papa. Good boy!